welcome to We Are Live. No, just keep playing the audio again. That wasn't a thing yesterday. No, just make sure the volume's still turned up. Hey, happy 314 day. How do I look in the glasses, by the way, Gardzi? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Don't do the glasses? Mm. But, okay. Happy 314 day and welcome to We Are Live. Hey, it's We Are Live, everybody. Chris Denman and Travis Terrell. I apologize for that start. Uh, Travis, whenever you do the threes up, shouldn't you have went three, like major face, the one, and then a four? Should you have done mm, it like that? That would have been, that been or the better play. That would have been smarter. That, that would have been... Wonderful. That would have been, yeah, I didn't think at all. Uh, on today's show, very pleased to be joined by a couple different comedians. We'll be joined live by Amber Clear, local comic. She's got a show coming up at Gaslight, our friends at Gaslight doing some comedy. And uh, don't you worry, because we've got Shane Moss as well. I always say, Mouse, Moss, Shane Moss, uh, he's a comic that'll be at Helium Comedy Club next week. He's actually doing, uh, it's a scientific comic blend he brings in two professionals. You'll hear all about it. So check those out in the second hour. We'll do some fair or foul today. We're here to have some fun, everybody. It's Thursday. Let's shake it out. It's free comedy Thursday at Southtown Pub this evening. Travis, you know what time that starts? That starts at 9.05. Nope. 8 p.m. tonight. I was talking South to City, my friends on the East Coast. St. Lu oh, that's good of you. It's very inclusive of you. South City tonight. Great lineup. Travis will be there. <clears throat> Carly Lawrence. Matt Wayman. John Vinagoni, Jovan Bibbs. Jovan coming back from New York just for this, just for this show. He's here for you. It's free. It's at Southtown Pub. Be sure to come out, enjoy some fun, and see me yell at you for uh, roughly two minutes between each comic. Does that sound good? That sounds like a blast. Does sound like a blast. If you want to text us, remain anonymous on the uh, text line, 314 669 one four three one. We'll do some Devil's Advocate today. We're actually going to play Make It Racist with Amber. Um, how do you how do you feel about including a guest in that? This should be very different. As long as she recognizes that she doesn't bring her woke ass in here, then she can take her woke ass on out. I don't know why you have to be rude. Mm -hmm. She's not even here yet. Mm -hmm. Fair or foul today. We'll get to that in just a moment. First, let's say hi to uh, the great, wonderful. Hold on. Someone turn on the porch light. Hold on one second. Porch light. Oh, on, get. Oh, there he is. Chris Gardner, everybody. Good morning, gentlemen. Get. Yeah. Hey, Travis, got a question. Yeah. Who's that uh, That guard in the NBA for the Washington Wizards? It's really good, but he's injured. John. Wall. Wall nuts. <laughs> Put up the threes. Good morning, Wall nuts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've been. See, see, the thing is, my Chris, neck's getting sore from how much I look down at my feet. But now, yeah. since it's a new show, we put up the threes. See, the Beatles had the peace sign and the twos, so but we, Walnuts, we three. Like this? Yeah, put up the W's. Put okay. them up. There we go. Okay. Walnuts. Like that. I can't wait till we have our first Walnuts picnic at Forest Park this summer. You think Will we'll we grill? Be oh, allowed? No, I've already reserved a space. Is this, that how you folks do mm -hmm. that? Put it under the Jackson family name. So we will be good. And there's like 14 Jackson families just within the 10 mile radius of our studio. I don't want to throw down. I don't want to throw down with any Jacksons from the St. Louis City area. I'm good on yeah, that. Add a little action. Add a little sauce to your event. Add a little spice to I've your event. I've seen oregano's videos of what happens when white people show up to black people barbecues in the park. Well, generally, you probably should leave your cell phone in the car. Don't bring it to the actual event. That's when things go. Do you south. call them barbecues? Do you call them cues? Cues. Smokeouts. Come by my cues. Cookouts. Cookouts. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have a couple comments already. Uh, oh, I'm sure they're delightful. Stephen George Elgin is very excited about <laughs> Shane. <laughs> okay. He's doing it on a public forum. It's a fair game. <laughs> He's excited about Shane joining us next hour. Uh, and Will O'Donnell uh, checking in last week. The lineup was really great at Southtown Pub. Will did charm the audience as he headlined and kicked major ass. So I'm a big fan of Will's, and I'm glad you weren't there to see it, Travis. Oh, wow, that's mean. That's uh -huh. absolutely uncalled but I'm happy that Will enjoyed himself last week. It's going to be a fun night tonight at Southtown Pub. I'm very excited. Mr. Bibbs uh, goes way back. He was actually one of the first. He invited me to one of the, my first comedy shows when Is I returned right? back to uh, St. Louis, and and it was absolutely phenomenal. It was Why at the old um, 
where it's where the boom boom room is presently right now. It oh, used to be um, that's Lola. where I used to live by there. Yeah, so yeah, so now it's uh, that's where I first saw him do comedy, and he absolutely blew the room away. So I'm very excited to see that he's back from New York and performing here in St. Louis. I think he, I know we say this a lot about other, a lot about the comedians that have come on this show, but I, I, I sincerely mean this. I think he's got to be one of the next big things comedically to come out of St. Louis. So I'm very excited to see him and. And for a lot of you, you get to see them for free tonight at Southtown South Town Pub. So come on through. Wow, look at all this love for the pub. <laughs> 314 day. What up, baby? What's oh. the most 314 thing you guys do? Oh, man. Like, let's, let's take an end. Okay. <laughs> oh, the, hey. Gardner. Let's sing the St. Louis anthem. <laughs> hey, what a, who chose that font? That's so great. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see. We've got the By Jack STLAF hat up there. Very nice. Underlay, underlay, mommy. E-I, E-I, uh-oh. St. Louis popping tonight. I'm a sucker <laughs> for cornrows and manicured toes. I took a pre-pants, a parasuit. Oh, that, I don't know. that was good. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Look at that flag. Oh, glory, St. Louis. <laughs> You are the city of joy. He's in Oak Canada? Uh -huh. Oh, St. Louis, Ozzy Smith, and Stan Museo mm -hmm. with emos and gramophone. Oh, yes, we still have beer. Go Bush Stadium and Enterprise Center. Mm -hmm. St. Louis, I love you. Oh, yes, I do. Go Cardinals and former Rams and the St. Louis Blues. Steamers. Steamers. Go Steamers. Oh. St. Louis. You didn't know we had an anthem. Hello. I'm surprised that you guys didn't sing along with me. Thank you. Yeah, we learned that back in uh, fourth grade. Hmm. Which school were you going to? I was going out to... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't remember. I, I, remember. I love bringing up his traumatic childhood. It's so it was, funny. What, what? Oh, it's so funny. Why do you guys bring oh, back so much while trauma? I, while I was why is my trauma so hilarious while, to our audience? While I was five, it, it, by the fourth grade, I was five years into long-lasting lifetime friendships. Your loser ass had to break a new batch of friends. Yeah. I had a 45-minute bus ride to school every morning. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, my mom made me a full breakfast and drove me in when I pleased. Hey. Oh. 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 Your Larry Laughlin so ass. Your good. Aunt Becky ass. Just up <laughs> oh. here. Just walking around writing checks. Because your <laughs> mediocre ass can't get into some of the best schools in St. Louis. So your mama got to sit up here and, and kind of charm the vice principal just so your dumb ass can get into one of your classes. <laughs> did you get your ass kicked at all these schools? I did. Did, I, did the Jewish kids pick on you when you went to West no, County? That was, that was, they, were, they were friends of mine. We reunited. We had a common enemy. And, uh, we had a common goal. <laughs> goal. Goal, goal. We had a common goal. That was the word. Oh, the word was goal. Freaking loser. Uh, Stephen George Elgin. My nickname at CBC was EI because of Elgin, Illinois. The requirement was learning all the words to EI by Nellie Johnson. <laughs> shut up. Just shut up. Get off the table. Go back to no, work and take no. care of your family. He's making the get, show fun. Get, get off the air. He's making get, the show fun. I get. want more Caucasian interaction. Get. <laughs> Cucky, you get. You get. <laughs> go, go, go take care of your beautiful family. Get. <sighs> I want to quit everything. I hate everything so much. What's the most St. Louis thing you get? What, what's fair or foul? That what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> what is what is anything? Um, Real quick, I mean, we could switch this up and save the. Never mind. I was going to say for three one four day, we should probably do a three one four St. Louis something for fair or foul. But I like this one. Let's stick with the one you got. Okay. We government can get back. Yeah. government staying operation code names. Real quick, and then we'll jump back into the St. Louis madness. Yeah. Why choose this, Gardner? Um, well, with the college admissions scandal going on. That was uh, nicknamed by the FBI, their investigation at least. Um, Operation Varsity Blues. I don't want your life. There yes. Is. Thank you, James Vanderbeek, for chiming in on Twitter, by the way, oh. with this whole thing. Um, we thought we'd go with uh, that one for Fair or Fun. That's good. I just yeah. thought uh, that 
I think it lends itself to our creative listeners, creative viewers. Thank God viewers. somebody involved in the show is creative. Um, it lends itself to their creativity, I guess. Oh. So I thought they could have That's fun good with stuff. that. And I included a melee as well with it yeah. along that same thing, which is which of these four Operation code names is your favorite? All right. And these are real Operation code names. Operation Beaver Cage. Operation Chattanooga Choo Choo. Oh, there it is. Operation Grizzly Forced Entry. Mm, interesting. Oh, boy. That sounds like bear sexual assault. Mm. Right there. I think we saw that in, uh, what was the? The Revenant. The Revenant, mm. which I never saw. My mom really? Says and I couldn't remember the name of it. Went and saw maybe it I, in theaters. Maybe I have tried to forget all about it. Yeah, you should. No, you don't want to be around that scene. Or Operation Varsity Blues. That was brilliant. So those are all, uh, I think three of those were military operations. And then I included Operation Varsity Blues, which was an FBI IRS sting operation. What was Vanderbeek's name in Varsity Blues? Uh, Mox. Mox. Jonathan Moxon. Moxley Mox. or something? Mox. She didn't, she didn't do the whipped cream bikini, did she? She did, dude. I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah. Remember that? Passing of the torch? That was the passing of the torch. He's going to yeah. be a junior varsity football coach. What's that mean for me? <laughs> Selfish. <laughs> <laughs> we need to have a movie night where we just completely do we commentary do a live, We can do a live uh, commentary event. I think the listeners should be able to do it because they'd be funnier than us. I wouldn't go that far. Like a mystery science theater yeah. type deal? Yeah, I think that would be the perfect movie, too, for it. Let's, do it. let's do it with Roots. That'd be hilarious. Mm. No? Why must he mm. always attack the culture? Mm. That is uncalled for. It's a, we actually it's a spent, good movie. It is a very good film, yeah. but I don't think we want to try to commentate that for four hours. But I, <laughs> it's me just crying the whole time. I'm so, I don't, it's, it wasn't me, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Let's talk about reparations. Uh, Are you down for that? I hand him half of my candy bar. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Wait, what? That's not how reparations work. And yeah, it, it gives you I diabetes. Saw, I saw an episode of Family Guy. Yeah, it is. It's kind of the. Uh, Kind of the diseased blanket it's thing. It's kind of a right? backhanded compliment in a way. Right. It's like, hey, enjoy this now. Die later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think what we've learned hmm. since the college scam, I think oh, maybe he college, I think reparations later. can be paid through college scholarship. Now, maybe, we just uh, maybe said a generation of African Americans can go to Harvard, Stanford, Yale mm -hmm. for free. We I, just said yesterday we're overvaluing college education, so you're kind of... No, we're overvaluing you know, public school education. Uh, but I think we properly value in this country private school education because we have seen that those who have access to private schools go on to more lucrative careers. Mm. It's not the education itself necessarily. That, that, could, be, that could be backed up because yeah. there's not a one private school attendee in this room, which speaks volumes oh, to, absolutely. to their success. And it speaks, speaks to our current company. Grandma tried to make me a private <laughs> school boy. She did. She Grandma did. Evans did try to make it happen. What, what happened? Did she just, you get! No. You, get, God, you get to that public school. Unfortunately, Grandpa forgot his uh, Bob Evans hat on the way to the meeting, <laughs> mm -hmm. so they didn't believe him. My, okay, uncles, my uncles went to DeSmet. She Ooh. wanted to send me to DeSmet. She was going to pay for everything. And then what happened? I lived in O'Fallon. Oh, boy. And I didn't want to wake up early to carpool. Mm. That is the most gardener thing that I've is. ever heard that in is. my life. You could At be. his core, hard worker. Yeah. He's here. Oh, he stays here early. He goes home late. Give him an inch, though. He'll take a nap. I didn't want to, like, who was the, uh, everyone else lived in the county or the city. Yeah. Like, coming from, like, St. Charles County over to, what is that, Ladue and 270 or whatever? Ladue. Uh, 25, 30 minute ride. Uh, I was going to, I'd have to wake up so that's, much that's, earlier. That's and, the same trip I do now. You mm, could have done that. Yeah, but I was in high school. Okay, but you had more energy and mm, more but it's spunk. Just you know, it just seemed so. It seemed so long. Were you afraid? Were you afraid that people were gonna you were gonna show up to dismantle people? Were like here come this hillbilly. Hey hillbilly. Hey hey. Here let me play with the belly hillbilly. Here. Yeah. Maybe not along that those lines. Happen? Okay. No, because I I think I can adapt if needed. Okay. I can lie to people. Let's check the Facebook comments. Oh, we again. We don't have to. But all right. Seth. So are the twins not getting into college now? <laughs> mm. 
Uh, happy Pi Day, everyone. Don't forget your pizzas and pies today. That's mm. from the Triangle Assassin. Word to the mother. I am going to dip my extra large sausage, pepperoni, and bacon Emo's pizza into some chicken fried rice and pour in a nice scoop of Vest Soda and a Bud Light. All and then one, I'm gonna get one some, scoop. Huh? Then I'm going to get some dirt from Bush Stadium, sprinkle it in my little, my little stew. It's only sensible. And then eat it on King's Highway and Natural Bridge. Out of a pothole. Out of a pothole. Boy, took that Compton Bridge yesterday. I believe you mm. should go to Wabada. Oh, well, I, I won't. I go by Wabada. Well, Why won't you? you? Because you probably shouldn't. I don't say this lightly, Gardner, but you're going to die. <laughs> I go there by there once he'd a week. Be, he'd be I, proud to die there. They setting you up. They letting you feel comfortable. Yeah. They're like, ah, oh, look at me, white man, just showing my privilege, driving down the most dangerous street in St. Louis. And you feel all comfortable, and you're getting all relaxed, and then BAM! Crips and Bloods, cuz, Crips and Bloods. Grizzly forced entry is what, what it's called when you're trying to fit that last pinch of dip. <laughs> Black sheep. So I've witnessed Operation Grizzly forced entry, yeah. though. I've only tried uh, dip once in my life. And How'd it go? It, I felt okay, but it was just a disaster. I was so afraid of swallowing it mm. that I was basically sitting, we were sitting on a back porch. Mm. Like we had just got done of course you were. swimming or something. Of course you were. Right. And uh, I, passed, I just passed, basically passed that over here. Yeah, sat there, like leaned over to make sure if I drooled or anything that yeah. it would not mm. go into the back of my throat. Yeah, because that would be bad. <laughs> that it dude. would just kind of chew fall out. I don't even remember. Timberwolf. I don't remember. I don't know what my dad chews or my brother. They both... <sighs> Twice I did, or two or three times, each time became violently sick, horrible experience. And it was because I never really smoked or anything. Mm -hmm. It was the nicotine, and then mm -hmm. all of my, I guess it lowered my blood sugar or something. So immediately, like almost passed out, turned colors, and I didn't swallow anything. It was just too much. It, the worst feeling I've ever I had. Think both my right brother, up there with uh, strep throat. I think my brother and father both are grizzly. I mean, grizzly men? Yeah. Do they do that to mess with you? What if that's how I go? Yeah. Like an overdose somehow. And it was grizzly. the chew all along. It was the, the grizzly chew. chew. Or you get that's mouth, what was going to kill you. Get you get mouth cancer from kissing your dad too much. Oh, that is very likely because you kiss Yasu Chris a lot. We're not Tom Brady here. Yeah, but yeah, I do kiss in the mouth. I kiss happens. everyone on the mouth. That's also. But you guys have brought up two things now that I think we can now make a part of white culture because you guys lack it of course that's why you're appropriated from everyone else so we talked about it about a few weeks ago about <laughs> just glides right over this the stuff. dog parade we i was telling beth that the dog parade that's white culture because you're not going to see any other culture do a parade dedicated to dogs yeah, well, yeah we've with a, with heard a bunch of, with a bunch of jazz music yeah, we we've stole. heard what happens with dogs in your culture mm. travis well, well, well yeah i mean so remember that like, quarterback sorry like competition don't <laughs> don't know what's wrong with that but now you guys talk about dipping like that is also that is your culture. You don't see black people dipping. So you guys get on us about uh, things like sugar and, and and things sweets, but you guys take it a little bit too far. You're like, how can we go further than that? And you you have tobacco that you put literally in your mouth. Yeah, raw tobacco to get it in the bloodstream. Because mm, smoking wasn't enough. I appropriate your culture. Oh, that's fair. I readily admit, I smoke Newports. I smoke menthols. There you have it. Or I used to smoke, you know, what I am's. Let's make a list of white culture items. So now, because I want you guys Not to have October. that. October. Well, you guys have Oktoberfest. Yeah, we created that. Yeah, you're welcome. And then you guys have. Good, hey, by the way, good job, everyone, on that back in October. I thought everyone this went from what's the most 314 thing you do to <laughs> reviewing Cocktober, which was a joyous moment. Right. And I just wanted to, it just hit me. I need to commend both of you. We, all, we teamed up and did a great job that yeah, month. Yeah, it was a good month. It was a very it was a long good month. month. It was a good month for your people. I will it was admit. even good for you. It was. We had some good moments. Yes. I did take advantage. There were a lot of thick white women out in St. Charles that certainly uh, appreciated, oh, Blackfish. Really? I don't, I don't think that's true. Mm, yeah. Okay, maybe I went too far there. I did write down on the rundown the best and worst thing about St. Louis to you personally. Okay. Demini, want to start your kind of uh, 
transplant, if you will. I was going to go. I grew up on the very edge of it, with well, just walk, but close enough to see it all, right? Not so. I'm not completely new to it. An hour away in a completely you, you different style. You just Sarah style Palin that answer. You can see St. Louis from your house. That's why I, I was could, good I enough. Could, I, could, I could see the arch from the corner of my field. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> if I'm if I'm on the tall horse, it's yeah. a very nice view. Sit on one of them pom pummel horses. <laughs> pummel horses. With the gip. Mm -hmm. Gip. You get with your you get with your gip. Oh my god. You get with your gip. So what? I've was never your, wanted to quit more. What's your, your your What's the worst thing about St. Louis to you? And what's the best thing? I'd say thing? the violent murders and, okay. and uh, well, that issues. That just comes with most urban cities. Relax. Uh, you know, um, uh, it's it's weird because um, there's a few things that come up if I go negative first. Uh, we beat ourselves up pretty bad. Seems to be you get stuck. Like you'll have these conversations with people, and it's and I was talking about it with somebody uh, recently who's not from here, and he is not he, like he's not from here. He's from the West Coast, and he's here, and he does a lot of business, high level business. And he's talking about all these hurdles and, uh, and objections he comes up with. And he's like, it is so hard to pull people out of their their lane, basically. And it, it's detrimental to them, and it, it's, it's actually a negative thing. So prevailing, like what happens regularly, that's a good and a bad thing. There's probably some advantages to that, too, if, you're, if you find yourself in that stream. But sure. that just the mindset can bother me sometimes. Um, obviously, there's a crime issue, division issue, whatever else. But just keeping it simple, um, we should uh, work better together. And oh, is that? Oh, what the? Hang on, hang on. Oh, Go no, ahead. man. We didn't you know what? They if didn't I were to say the most important thing we do uh, in St. Louis as a community, Gardner, you ready? Go ahead on the camera. Is work better together, what STL. The hell is St. Louis City County merger. How to get away with mergers? Oh, no. Okay, so so yeah, it's uh, that gets. Uh, <laughs> that's great. That's great. You guys are doing some pre-production now. <laughs> I love doing pre-production things and not telling Chris. <laughs> Cause it, cause, cause that's better that way. Yeah. Operation: How to get away with merger. That's great. No, I, I, I wish some things were different on that end. But the positive side is, you can really take some cool chances on things. You've got a lot of opportunity if you know where to find it. Man, this a therapy. We talk about it St. Is. Louis, man. St. Louis is great. You got, you can go. <laughs> there's amazing food. I can't eat any of it currently. Uh, <laughs> Can I have a bowl of fat? Could have fooled us, huh? <laughs> fat shame here mm. with the walnuts. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know. There's, uh, you can make some really true, honest connections with people here. That's a pretty great thing. There you go. That's not bad at all. I, on the other hand, I'm going to be a little bit more detailed because... I tried to get detailed and you chastised me and called me fat. Well... <laughs> Clip that off. <laughs> when you put it that way... Yeah. Uh, Yes, you're right. I would say the the driving, the, the St. Louis drivers are just though. Now I will. But there is a lack of traffic. That's as compared to major cities. But, but I think that's add to the there. frustration yeah. is that. And look, I will also properly give blame to Illinois drivers because you do. They think cross we're the, the problem. Bridge. Yeah. We blame them. No, What's we blame you guys. The reason why we have a majority of the crime in certain areas of St. Louis is because you people cross that bridge coming into our fine communities and ruin them. So Illinois, you racist as hell. How did that happen? Not, not that all point those, in the show there? No, we're not there yet? Okay. All those all those thugs from Edwardsville mm -hmm. working their way over Damn here. Damn O'Fallon coming over on our side of the streets. So the driving, and you mentioned the traffic. That's what's frustrating because... Frustrating. Frustrating. Frustrating because it's first and it's straighting. But specifically, when there isn't a ton of traffic, but traffic piles up through random parts of the day because people can't drive worth the crap. So that's the thing that I say is worse about St. Louis. The best thing about St. Louis right now is the social entertainment and food scene. Like the food hey, scene. If you pick out a weekend, I had a friend who went to Garth Brooks, mm -hmm. saw Polly Shore, mm -hmm. and like went out for wine on Friday, like all on a weekend. I think that's this, a that's a big time weekend, that's man. Very enjoyable. I, I think the expansion of the food. It was scene, only carjacked twice. Oh, that's <laughs> not bad in a weekend. It did very well. Mm -hmm. I think the food and the entertainment scene. We talk about the comedy scene, the music scene, the social scene. 
here in St. Louis continues to grow and has become respected nationally, certainly the food and comedic scene. We've seen that up close. So to see that from when I was younger to become very respected around the world for, you know, world class entertainment and food and a lot of our comedians go on to big things in New York and L.A. to watch that. I think that's the true essence of St. Louis because these people work behind the scenes a lot of times, so you don't get to see it. So there are a lot of people on the outside thinking, well, St. Louis, there's not a lot going on. And actually, no, we have a ton of actors, actresses, comedians, directors, and writers. Uh, and then, of course, we have Beard Award winners. Uh, we have folks who are just renowned for we, their We don't even think cuisine. twice that you can go to 20 breweries in a, an afternoon. And then let's not even speak to the wineries. Huh, some delightful places to go around the metro area to you, uh, drink some fine wine. Would you captain a bus trip down to uh, my uh, hometown for a winery trip? Absolutely. Absolutely. We can get John at Pie Jack to uh, make a big vinyl cut out of your head. Yes. Put it on the bus. Yes. Have, a, have the bus attacked as we enter town. That's very They're awesome. coming. We've been, pre- <laughs> we've been preparing for this. <laughs> They're on a bus. Look. <laughs> that, that must be their mascot. Kill him first. Cut the head off! Cut the head <laughs> off! <laughs> and my dumb ass just got a microphone in my hand. We're now pulling up to the uh, lovely places of yeah. farm. As you can see, they have already got the lovely tiki torches out. It's a way to guide us into the center of town. I am delighted to be what here if, today. What if the bus lights like shone through your eyes and then you looked like you had blue eyes like the Night King and Game of Thrones? Gardner, chime in on this. Mm. And mm-hmm. you could... Uh, <laughs> And then you have people freaking out like, it's an ice. We got we to gotta come up with a good way. It's of the you- ice Negro. Okay, there, you- okay. there he is. See? The, the how ice funny Negro. W- how funny would that be if I could have said that? That probably See? would not have been as I funny. the brakes on. Yeah, yeah. We, I'm glad you did for say, download purposes. Say, I, say ice N word. <laughs> no. I will not. No. No. See? no, 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 just even the idea of someone saying it makes Chris laugh. Mm-hmm. I just think you just laugh at that word so it's, much. It's the, that's it's why the you think it's it. cheating. It's the end of it. It's because the people who say it are really funny. Tell me Cat Williams, tell me Cat Williams just talking to you be like, hand me that cup of coffee. That really, that's a nice tag. <laughs> that's a nice Admit tag. It. That's a mm. nice tag. You're not going to laugh your ass off if Cat Williams is here. And because be like, I should just said Cat that, Williams that, is funny. All he said was pass me that coffee. <laughs> Man. <laughs> that's oh. not funny. Oh. <laughs> Look at Gardner. <laughs> Even Gardner in his old Fallon ways, he knows. Chris, we should not be adding that as a tag to the end of sentences or punchlines. Please. Check out our live stream. Please. (laughs) That's not going to help download. It's not going to help bring on more people to the studio. We can't just be dropping it all willy-nilly. How about Will O'Donnell checking in? Again, very funny, and I appreciate his quick trip reviews. He asked a national touring headliner at Funny Bone how St. Louis is different than other places. Uh He goes, they just get so drunk. (laughs) That is... Exactly how you describe this city. Thank you to years of the Catholic Church infusing that into it being okay with mm-hmm. all the folks here. We've made it a lifestyle. Like, we, we look, even if you look at the Del Mar Divide, on one side of the divide, there are people who drink a ton. On the other side of the divide, there are people who smoke a ton. Because we've all have concluded, oh dear God, what we have we got ourselves into here in St. Louis. So these vices, we have become a part of our lifestyle, a part of the St. Louis culture. And here on 314 Day, you're going to see a lot of people smoking a lot of blunts, drinking a lot of beer. Doesn't get more St. Louis than that, boys and girls. Um, is, is there a difference? I mean, it's kind of like a Tuesday, though, too. Uh, that's, uh, that's, yeah. And it's Wednesday today. Or oh, is it Wednesday today? Is it Thursday? What's today's day? Oh, you this is going to be trouble. Yes. It is. Figure it out. It is our new segment. Travis figures out what day it is. It is Wednesday, mm. Thursday. Did you look at your phone? There? I did. Yeah. I had to cheat. Yeah. It's uh, it's not mm. only three one four day. JPD chiming in that it's uh, her and Travis's friend anniversary on. It's Facebook. our friend anniversary. Wow. It's our friend anniversary. How you doing, JPD? It's good to see you again. Steve in Des Moines oh, commenting. <laughs> I gotta go. Chris, tell me I gotta get back to work. Holly Shore just posted he's playing in a condo lodge in Evansville, Indiana. <laughs> what? P- 
People aren't ex impressed by the uh, example I used. <laughs> Seth said they he are. would just stay. Garth up. Brooks and Polly Shore. I mean, that's Look a, out, St. Louis. Oh, that's We're coming for you, Austin, Texas. That's what we call St. Louis diversity. <laughs> that's that's yeah. true. Yeah, that is true. You're in the city that of counts. County. Yep, that yeah. counts as diversity. <laughs> I was in the city. I'm what they call St. Louis diverse. <laughs> so you went to a jazz club and a country music concert. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the city all the time. I grab a burger at High Point and then drive my ass back to and St. I hop Charles. hop 44 and I'm out of Dodge. <laughs> oh, my God. There is nothing better. And we could go on forever about great moments in St. Louis. But there really isn't anything better than watching the hordes of white people leave baseball and hockey mm. in the game. Yeah, that power, wa that power <laughs> walk to the car. Yeah. That oh, that power walk men, ain't no joke. Men, men leaving their entire families. <laughs> yes. Three blocks behind. Yes. Mm. There. <laughs> Karen, Karen, yeah, Karen. Stay away from the kids <laughs> drumming on buckets. But daddy, he has a hat in front of his guitar. No, stay away from him. That's, Head for, to the that's a stealing hat. <laughs> And they're they trying to distract you. And then they get on the highway. And they're just. Are they following? Like people are chasing them. Mm -hmm. There's no one chasing you. <laughs> it's the best thing to watch. You just stand. Because I, I just let traffic go do its thing. Because I'm probably going to go and drink after an event or a game or a concert. And then to just watch it. You talk about the Chris is in line. That power walk is no joke. It's mm -hmm. incredibly mm -hmm. intense. And it's the funniest thing you can witness. Because it's like as soon as the horn. At Enterprise Center oh, yeah, goes no, off. No, 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 no. Well, it, okay, I'll analyze okay. this. Okay. No, no, no. It's Listen, if there's a half a goal lead, <laughs> they got to beat the traffic. they got to beat the traffic. Yeah. They're going. If, there, if there's even a thought that the Cardinals might score the two men that are on in the bottom of the ninth, they're like, well, they got two men on. Uh, they're going to We're going to go ahead and get it. Dad, they're down one. It's the bottom of the ninth. Ah! Uh, beat the traffic. Uh, beat the traffic. Yeah, that's how it goes. Like, that's the true feeling. Add that to your culture list. Leaving games early. I don't have a culture list. A lot list. of you bastards miss David Freeze's uh, extra innings games, and you're lying about it. Oh, there's at least... There were people that There were at least 10,000 people They're that claimed that they it. saw the David Freeze mm -hmm. triple. I almost did And they didn't. were at the game. They were at the game. They but, left in the... Eight. Oh, they definitely left in the eight. I I almost didn't see it, and I wasn't at the game, but... I, if that game would have gone on any longer, I was so drunk that I wouldn't have remembered yeah. anything that happened. That was Drunk Gardener? Oh, yeah. I remember where oh, I was at. I do remember wise, where, where I was. I was at a bar called Larry J's. It's right on the border of the city and county, <coughs> like Weber Road, like south. Hmm. I remember being there. But if it went on any longer, I had enough drinks in me, and I wasn't slowing down one bit, and I didn't slow down afterwards, obviously. Hmm. But I would have, I would have missed it probably. So it's a good thing it ended when it did. I was going to. Uh, That's a great St. Louis moment that I almost missed. Yes. Um, I was going to do two places. Okay. For my best and worst of St. Louis. Okay. What do you, let's start with the bad first. Let's get that out of your system. A little place off Ladue Road. Uh oh. 170 Ladue. Oh, no, just, just west of 170. I feel like this is going to get personal. St. Louis Country Club. No, I knew it. I knew it. Bulldoze the MFR. No oh boy. Bulldoze St. Louis Country Club. Bulldoze St. Louis Country Club. It's, it's cost us some stuff. What is like it? What specifically it's, cost us? It, it's uh, it signifies the parochial nature, the fragmentation mm. of the region. Hey Amen. Travis just that's, keep nodding. That's exactly what, what that exclusive club is. I mean, people go to Bell Reeve to prep their. It's like an audition for St. Louis Country Club. Oh wow! Oh, hey, was it Augie Bush? As the lore as lore goes, didn't get accepted there. What? Built his own golf course. Wow. Uh, AT&T guy on the board. AT&T was here in St. Louis, headquartered here. Uh, yeah, didn't get in. Yeah, well, we were, now they're in, we, we replaced, they're in Texas. We replaced uh, that building uh, with a new tenant immediately downtown, right? So, oops. How long ago did that empty out? Six years ago? Seven years ago? Mm, I want to say Longer, three. Longer? Shorter? I feel, I feel like it wasn't that long ago. I feel like it wasn't that, but I... I have I have time frames are difficult for mm -hmm. me. Very true. Right. Um, when you're sober, that's what happens. But it's 
It's, uh, I think it signifies a lot of what's wrong with St. Louis, does St. Louis Country Club. So you know what, Blue Bloods? Screw you. Oh, yeah. We're bulldozing. Yeah. If I am Metro City Mayor. There we go. Here we go. Metro City, is that what we're called yeah, now? that's what we're called. Well, that's what it'll be. Under my plan. The Metro I like City. That. I like together. that. Yeah, it's under your Better Together STL no, plan. No, for the love of God. <laughs> um, I bulldoze St. Louis Country Club. Okay. Okay. That's what I do. All right. I don't care about the history of it. I think of what it signifies and what it is. No thanks, St. Louis. If you can get minority. We're changing. Get minority contractors. We'll be there. We'll be there to help bulldoze it. We can do it as one community. I'm down for that. I love. Oh, taking I most away. certainly would have my anything that takes joy away from white people. Boy, I'm game. Let's. I mean, from those people that well, came out wrong. We mean those, those people. Those those people. I'm down with you though. Okay. On that one. Very well. We can use those people. Excellent. That way. And you and you know what? This is just me thinking. I could probably save money because you know people probably would want to bulldoze That's it. Very true. So I maybe wouldn't have to pay as much. Oh, well, we can make it a big social media splash. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like our page, you can run the bulldozer. And you, yeah. you tell my community and there's I, a potential I, for more places to have cookouts because that's what we would probably use the property bulldo- for once we bulldoze, bulldoze it. This, bulldoze this property. You can park here every Thursday What's night. What's your first and event going to be? Oh, I'm going to throw a uh, blackout cookout. Yeah. For folks. Yeah. How about that? Woo. The blackout cookout. And we turn it on music. Up. And so then all that's going on there. And while I got you guys distracted too and all those other people upset. I can sneak into Forest Park and actually get a pavilion to myself. The so master plan like unfolds. So, there, so there's, no, there's the worst. The best, the worst. The best. I just mentioned it. The crown jewel. It's Forest Park. Woo, it's a beauty, isn't it? Forest Park is the best thing about St. Louis. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It is beautiful. It's big. It's insane. And it's just, there's there was so a, much to do. I drive through it once a day. Nice. Or at least I'm through it once a day. The make, nice, the, make the noise you make when you see a... Maybe the sun's setting, and it's just the perfect view, and you stop, and if you were more technologically advanced, you'd take a photo, okay. but you just appreciate them I'm all. Make the photos. noise. I've posted them on social media. Will you just make the noise you make when you when you see it, when you're, you're relieved? It's been a long day. There's probably a couple noises. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. Because Go it ahead. would probably be this. I'd okay, be okay. Si- let's say I'm sitting on the park bench by the Muni. Ooh, that's a good look. Looking at the gazebo as the sunset. It's very beautiful. What yeah, I like that for the sunset. I suggest that if you're going to the Forest Park, if you want to see a sunset, right by the Muni there, by the gazebo, is a great one. At night, there's actually a view. It's very underrated. I don't think people would even realize it's there. But as you're coming to the northeast end of the park, like you're heading towards the the chase. Uh-huh. I like to cut over on West Pine to get across Kings Highway. It's the best way to do that. Actually. Listen up, people. Um, there's a stop sign. We should have explore Saint right Louis by a. There's like a brick area by the stop sign, so okay. you have to go across the brick area. But the stream, which is it's called a water something, I can't remember exactly what it is, but it kind of where the River De Pere might have run through Forest Park in the past. Travis would call it a, a water ditch. There it is. Yeah, the water ditch Thank there. Thank you. If you look back, it's kind of an interesting view because it, it combines two things. It combines the park and the beauty of the park with the stream there, the trees, and then in the background, the skyline of the Central West End. Beautiful. So at night, with the moonlight on the water, Ooh. it's a great, great shot. Sometimes I'll get out of the car and stand there and, and look. And make what noise? And think... And make a certain noise that would probably go like this. Oh, here we go. <sighs> mm. Oh, that's good. That's haunting. That's mm. good. Mm, there you got two. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. third. Oh, no. God. oh, that was good. That was satisfying. Mm. That was so good. there's a couple of views. Okay. For, and that, uh, that's not even mentioning, mentioning all the stuff that's in there. The zoo. The art museum, the history museum, Very the nice. exhibits that come through. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's just, there's uh, the golf courses. Yes. And then there's Picnic, Picnic Island, which is, it runs along, for those that have played, I think it's Dogwood, the Dogwood course at Forest Park. There's a par three that's really short across water. My mother's farm was named Dogwood. Dogwood. <laughs> you guys are whack. There's a, a picnic island. It's got two bridges. You sit there. You go have lunch. Jess and I love to have lunch there. And you got the art museum in one area, and you got the World's Fair Pavilion looking up. A nice afternoon for nice weather. True. Just sit there with your sandwiches, have a little picnic. 
There's a little beach area there. A lot of people don't know there's a little beach area yeah, there. Beach. Oh, I know. You take your shirt off. Uh, I don't. Mm. Others might. I wouldn't. There's a lot of old people running in the park yesterday with the oh, nice really? weather. Yes, yeah, I can thaw out my bones. Yeah, because <laughs> just just started laugh, just laughing at one it's old. It's been a hard winter. It looked like an older hippie guy running, but he's just flailing his right arm as he ran. <laughs> nice. He stopped and, by. He's like, "You guys want some group action?" And I'm I'm trying not to laugh, and then just just looks and just like, <laughs> "Did you see that?" And I just busted up laughing, and we just start like, "Why are we laughing?" We're just. Shouldn't he have shame, or do we are we jealous that he has no shame? Uh, probably jealous he has no shame. I think that's yeah. basically what it is. I I had like what three, three old people just running down the middle of the road right at me. At really? I'm like, what They're do like, I do? <laughs> I can't stop the damn car. I survived the Great Depression. I'll run through your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Ever heard of the Dust Bowl, mother... <laughs> <laughs> Gertrude, calm down. <laughs> Relax. Get back to the Gatesworth, okay? Sit down, Reginald. Reginald, sit down. Mm-hmm. You ever ate an old boot? <laughs> Reginald, please. Yeah. Get on the bus. So we can get out of here. And a close second to the best river to pair, because what that could oh, be, gosh. what that could mm. be, if you vitalize that area. Oh, boy. Do you like our pronunciations? Special. I get upset with the de pair and the gravois and the gravois and everything. Like, I think we could do better with our names. I think I've just accepted it. I have mm-hmm. as well. Does it, but you it's get a kind stark of like reminder whenever You would Wade like to change society in some ways, but to get to that point of changing society, you have to live in that society. And you're so beat and down adapt. at a certain point, yeah. So you can't necessarily just go from, you know, just motor through it. Right. You have to, it's a gradual process. Mm-hmm. I, I love Forest Park. I have so many great memories, but mainly I had the most sloppiest, moist, no. sexual no. encounter in Forest Park. And it just opened my eyes as to what that park can be. And where I, it was, it was right in front of the Born Jewish Hospital. You know, it's in the background, it's right along the creek or the water ditch. And mm-hmm. it's just a nice, perfect because you got the hill and the incline. So you ain't got to put too much weight in your calves. So because she coming down a hill and you going All up. Right. So the so but it was. So there's a, a hill with an incline and a creek. Yes. This sounds suspicious. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> Because I'm figuring out where this creek would go mm. if it's there's an incline, and especially if it's right in front of the hospital, that's the edge of the park, mm. and there really is no water there except for the lake, you know, by Steinberg. Yeah, whatever that thing is that goes into that little sewer hole, that's mm. what it was. Oh, a sewer. It was maybe it was a sewer. Maybe I don't know I if did. you were in the park. Okay, even. maybe I was just having sex near a sewer hole, you and doing I just any of that. and I just thought it was a park, and it probably, but it was sloppy, and it was moist. No, mm. I don't think so. It was unnecessary. Mm, we had a great conversation mm, going. We I did. Just wanted to share that. Let's cleanse our palate. Did you? Do, are we? Uh, are we happy with the state of uh, St. Louis sports being a huge part of uh, the sociologic ul fabric of the city? I think it's a very big. Part. I think the city is afraid. I think the city uses sports as a crutch to determine the overall status of the city. And I think we lionize sports too much in the city. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I love how it does bring our communities together. You hear the I, word fabric a lot. You do. You? I, I do enjoy the fact that you can go to a game at Bush Stadium and you will see every demographic in the city of St. Louis and in the metro area all come together to root on the baseball team here. And then when the Blues are in the playoffs, the city is electric. So those things are fun. I won't discount that, but I think if something goes wrong with the Blues or something goes wrong with the Cardinals, all of a sudden the entire city sucks ass. And that's not the case. The city is truly growing. There are new projects. When you have something so much as part of your identity, yes. that's what happens. Exactly. And I think we need to start to you know, slowly it pull ourselves off It happens in college sports all the time, too. Like True. People went to a school and however... Their teams perform. That's how they, they determine think it how looks well they're good on the university. Kindly or poorly yes. upon themselves. Agreed. And I'm like, oh, I mean, that's ridiculous. Like, like someone was, uh, yeah, it's a great example. Uh, people's like, oh, man, the zoo sports, they suck. They haven't been doing well. Like two Nobel Peace Prize winners in the last three years. Like, yeah. Erroneous. the university is doing Oh, fine. you went to Louisville? Oh, you must have sex in Italian restaurants <laughs> oh, with <boy>. mistresses <clears throat> and pay for abortions afterwards. That got very that, I don't. Very bad. I don't make that correlation necessarily. I would, I would. That's why, and, you're, and to that point, I. That's why I would like for people to start to slowly pull back because 
there's so much more that the city can offer. And when you lead with that every time, it does make you look like that little big city that we like to talk about when it comes to St. Louis. Like, you can't be a big city if the first thing that comes out of your mouth is, did you see we signed Paul Goldschmidt? I, uh, okay, yeah, but I, just, it's, I asked it's you about tough. your city, not your baseball team. It's tough because I haven't heard it as much lately, but, oh, there's nothing to do in St. Louis. And maybe to an extent downtown can be an issue. Because, Certainly. I, which, um, I don't think many people argue that. I mean, there's sporting events, but they're, they're trying to create They're doing stuff. their best to try to create they're something. To, they're trying to create a pathway, to from the river to the edge of the city limit, as it currently stands, like Skanker McCausland. Right. But, you know, a potential MLS franchise and what's going on with Union Station right now. So the Central Corridor, they're definitely trying to develop and make it, you know, widespread from border to border. But I, it's hard when I, do, I don't necessarily know what people's interests are. I'm not going to discount people's interests because you can like what you like. Right. I'm not going to tell you what to like or dislike all the time. Sometimes I will. Sometimes I, I, if it's feel. if it's yeah, you know what? It, it most certainly could be my mood that day. I'll be honest, it could be my mood that day or faux country, and then I'll just, if it's faux country, then I, I'm against it completely. Mm-hmm. Faux country music, I should say. Okay. Um, but, um, I, you know, though there's nothing to do. There's plenty to do. Plenty. If, if you, I mean, you don't even necessarily have to seek it out. No. And I, I joke about the cemetery tours, but they're actually, they're actually quite fascinating from a historical sense about the city. Like, you'll go past a grave of a mayor who was arrested and jailed for sympathizing. Mayor of St. Louis, who was jailed for being a Confederate sympathizer. Mm. And if you actually you get a booklet, you could do a self-tour. You can learn about that part of St. Louis's history and just all the weird stuff that's happened just by going through a cemetery and learning about the people that are there. I find that kind of thing interesting. Right. Others might not. So I'm not going to tell. Plus, I enjoy like looking at the different, you know, I mean, on the north side, the architecture is incredible. Now, what you see with it now, how the you know, buildings have gone downhill. You know, we know about the issues that are there. But you could visualize. Part of it is the fun is looking at it and visualizing what it was in the past. And you can see it. It's not just like turrets, but like... You'll see mansard roofs and stuff like that on the north side that are, you know, you can just tell what the buildings were and what these streets were. Right. That is sad in a way mm-hmm. when you realize what it was. But still, there's architecture there. If you like that kind of thing, you can find pla- you can find pla- all over. You can go north or south and, and find that. And, uh, you know, Carondelet, you'll find it. Tower Grove, you'll find it. It's, it's all over. There's stuff for a lot of different interests. For as much shit as St. Louis takes at times, there can be whatever your interests are, you could probably find something to to do or like. I think it always has been, I think to that point, people, it speaks more to you if you're unable to find something in this city to enjoy. If you it say that, I assume that you're, you can't find you're something either to enjoy. lazy there you or you've insulated yourself into a bubble of suburbia. And there it is. You and those are the only reasons. You can go 10 minutes and find 500 and different you, groups of types yeah. of people. And if all you want is li- a linoleum kitchen floor and siding on your house, then okay. Enjoy Sunset Hills. Right. Sure. You know what? If you're looking for a house in St. Louis, somebody here can help you. If I only knew someone, Chris. Tom he, Bannister, realtor, Circa wait, Properties. Wait, Tommy Bannister? Mm-hmm. Oh, he does realty now, man? Last time I saw him, man, he was, he was so buff on the beach. I was like, I man, I wish right. I could hang out with him some more. <laughs> Tommy <laughs> spent his whole read? life in St. Louis. He's built, he's built an extensive background, sales and client relationship. My God. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait five minutes for a Red Bull. <laughs> Kills the live read. <laughs> You're trying to inject some energy into this live read with that Red Bull? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Travis Rall, everybody. Tommy strives to make the process of selling your home as easy as possible. He's got a full team supporting him in the background, and he prides himself on his ability to listen and deliver what customers want and make sure you're having fun along the way. Contact Tom Bannister, tom.bannister at circastl.com 
314-393-5386. That's Tom Bannister, Realtor. Circa Properties. Cannot say enough good things about him. And uh, find one of his stickers around town, too. Give him a call today. Again, 314-393-5386. That's Tom Bannister at Circa Properties. Big thanks to him for supporting the show, so you guys have to support him. We have a big, busy next segment. Uh, but before we get to it, we have to get to an important segment this hour. Can we not? No? We're we not? don't have enough time. We don't have enough time to do that segment? No. We literally have zero constraints yeah. on time. But uh, You were talking about Devil's Advocate. I am talking about Devil's Advocate. Um, we'll pocket Devil's Advocate okay. for tomorrow. Yeah. Pocket. Because uh, we tomorrow, tomorrow we'll have a lot of fun. We'll have Devil's Advocate. Okay. We'll make sure we do it this time. Okay. Um, in the first hour. Then we have Sam Lyons coming in. We do. In the second segment. And we're going to play Recasting Call with Sam. We get to, uh, we did it with Michael Yo, uh, and Michael Yo hit it out the ballpark. We didn't mm-hmm. even participate, but this time, <laughs> you, the audience. <laughs> we are like, I'm not, I'm not following that. This is that. supposed to be a just... game where we're all involved, Michael. Yes, mm-hmm. and he was just like, no, I'm just going to kill it right now, if that's okay with you guys. So we're going to do it with Sam Lyons, Chris, myself, and of course, Gardner, and can we at least tease the people with the what we're doing with ca- recasting yeah, call? So what we're going to do, we take some of the classic movies that we have all enjoyed and we recast them, but we give it a thing. We give it a little bit of a twist. And so tomorrow we're going to do The Departed will be our film. And we're going to recast that with sick, black sitcom actors from the 90s. Black sitcom actors from the 90s. Those are your pool When do we get options. a white entertainment channel? No, it's not happening. So you can take any actor from the 90s who was black and in a sitcom, and we have to use them and recast them in The Departed. So be sure to tune in tomorrow. For the Departed, that did you line. say? The Departed. Yeah, yeah. I figured that would get your beats juiced. Huh. Yeah. The Departed. Yeah, it's going to be good. You know who's in the department? Oh God, he! Oh Jesus! I was in the department. Hey Mark, it was a lot of fun. Hey Mark, you know the shape I got for this? Yeah, you got into great shape, Mark. I don't know if you saw. I shot like seventeen people in the face. You you did very aggressively. I said the N word in that. It was really funny. It was not as funny as you think. I don't think a lot of people. Why do you want to be a cop, Terrell? I don't. Some people just want to slam it through a plate glass window. Well, you don't talk about that often, and you probably (laughs) should because that was a very troubling moment in your life. Are you talking about the time I almost killed that Vietnamese guy? Yeah, that's specifically. <laughs> that's specifically, Mr. Chris, Wahlberg. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of Catholic now. Uh, well, your, your people tell me that all I have to do is pray for forgiveness. I don't feel bad about it anymore. Oh, uh, well, I, that's not exactly I don't how feel, it works. I don't feel bad about daddy daycare either. Oh, uh, well, you probably Was should. Was I in that? No, you weren't. I don't know why you don't know your own <laughs> what film are the mo- credits, One of the movies I've been doing with Will Ferrell that seem to be big commercial hits, but horrible creatively. I That is a question we have all been asking, but it seems like you're enjoying life and making a lot of money so who are we to judge i want to make another boston or northeast uh, film well like, come I, on I man. did you, you see the fighter i well i did we all did it did very well you you got some love uh, with some academy award nominations far be it for me to to, to anoint a, a mediocre fighter a saint just mm. because he was from the northeast <laughs> yeah i was kind of shocked there i don't think anybody saw that coming mickey ward was the star but arturo Gotti was clearly the more talented boxer he absolutely was he's the one who probably belongs in the hall of fame but he didn't get a movie he was murdered did you know that yeah we by were, his girlfriend well we have google it was messed up man it was where she that tuned story? him up worse than i tuned up the old vietnamese guy well you Ooh. keep bringing that up i don't know if you've actually expressed forgiveness for that the lord forgives me man oh Oh, I took communion. It's okay. Mm. Mark, what's your favorite thing about 314 Day? That you could probably make a, a movie that would relate it to Boston. Oh, well, it's very likely. Have you ever met Matt Damon? I, I don't need to meet him, Matt, Mark. I, I appreciate you stopping by. Do you like the new studio, ki- by the way? I killed him in, in The End of the Departed. Well, we saw that. That was a movie. We were all there. Are you enjoying new the mid coast media it, studios? Why was not Affleck in the Departed? It's well, kind of yeah, troubling. Well, uh, you know, it, I thought they were buddies or well, something. I think they are, but he was doing his own Boston movie. You guys do that kind of thing. You just make a lot of movies about. John Ham was in that. That's yeah, my three one four day he, contribution. Oh, we appreciate that, Mark. Thank you so much. How's the How's the brother Donnie? How's Donnie doing? He does burger stuff. I okay. don't know. <laughs> well, that's good. He's a lot less attractive than me. Well, 
That's your opinion. One time after singled out, I slept with his now wife. See, that's not appropriate. <laughs> Especially to share it on our Gave pod. Gave him my funky bunch, if you know what I mean. Well, okay, that's pretty inappropriate. I've got it. the power. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. Damn it. There it is. Oh, that'll there do it, it for the first it. segment. Um, can I show you guys a tweet real quick before yeah. we break? Oh, boy. I wanted to show you a tweet that was shared on the Friends of Wall page that I thought you would enjoy. Okay. So... Here it is on the screen. It's a picture of a young Describe Indian it. fella. He says, "I today I discovered Creed, and I used the same neighborhood Creed from the office dispensary, Creed so you know that ish is good." <laughs> he took a selfie with Creed from the office, the actor. And if you look no, closer, no younger than seventy-two years old. And if you look closer to the photo, it's a fleece. Yep. A performance fleece. What's mm-hmm. it say on it? A Dunder Mifflin performance <laughs> fleece. Cree Bratton, you beautiful. He's such beautiful a character man. actor. He is, and he is that guy. Like he's random Creed from the show. That okay? So maybe some of the hints of him being maybe the Scran Strangler, maybe overboard. But in real life, he's basically Creed from the show. Mm-hmm. He behaves that way. That is outstanding. How how. And you know when you go to a dispensary, you're probably half high anyway. So how enjoyable was that for that gentleman to go to this neighborhood dispensary and there's freaking Creed? Because you know he just left the house watching The Office. Now he's going to go home, get high after watching a guy from The Office. <laughs> Outstanding. Good for you. So we're going to take a break. Big thanks to Tech Electronics for working with us to outfit our studio. Very, very, very pleased with the work they've done. The equipment that's in here, they do wonderful work. They're uh, from right here in the St. Louis area. Family-owned tech electronics. Check them out for your business needs. Any tech needs they can handle. Security systems, all that good stuff. Tech electronics, big thank you for helping us put together our studio. Check out the Bijack STLAF hat that uh, Mr. Uh, Terrell is showing off in the video screen. Check out midcoast.media if you want to know what we've been up to, see some of our capabilities, partnerships, all that good stuff. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back on the other side with Amber Clear, Shane Mouse.